Hey everyone, it's Nia. Today I'm talking about how I designed my first art toy. Small introduction if you're new to my channel. My name is Nia Veal. I'm a freelance character designer at Studio Smokescreen and I like to draw cute cartoons. <laughs> To elaborate, I've been inspired by artists like Lilliams and Jeremy Ville who have made their own designer toys, and seeing them make their own things made me wonder if I could use my skill set as a character designer and design my own type of toys, and so Sad Serve was kind of the result of that, which I'll show you now. This is Sad Serve. <laughs> He's just a little ice cream guy that I designed like well over a year ago now, but um, it wasn't until late December when I decided I wanted to try to make him into a toy. I thought he would be a really cute knickknack to have on my desk, so I just took the plunge one day and it ended up being a really great experience. So when I first started looking into making a toy, I wanted to do it all by myself. I just kind of wanted to go through the process of 3D modeling it, doing a 3D print and hand painting it myself, but that's not quite the most doable thing for me living in a studio apartment. Um, 3D printers for one, depending on the types of filaments that you use, can be very can be very smelly and toxic. There needs to be quite a bit of ventilation for that process, and it's not something I can exactly get in, you know, my apartment. So I opted to outsource the production and hopefully work with someone that had a bigger workshop than I would have had. <laughs> So I'm not claiming to know like everything there is about toy making, but this was the basic process for getting my toy created. So I started with a 2D turnaround of Sad Serve, which I sent to the factory, and then they were able to take it the rest of the way and model it in 3D for me, do a 3D print as well as hand paint it. And that's another thing, I don't have the space for a 3D printer, so I really did need like a workshop to work out of. Cost-wise, it was pretty expensive for a sample. I believe the price started somewhere around $4.50 for just the production of it, and then to have it shipped to me was like an extra 60 bucks, and so it ended up totaling to be somewhere around $500. I don't have the exact numbers on hand right now, but I'll put that somewhere. So it wasn't like the cheapest thing to do, but yeah, that's kind of where it ended up cost-wise. And now here's some footage of me unboxing Sad Serve for the first time. Getting through all these layers of freaking bubble wrap. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, he's perfect! Wow! Look at him! He looks so great! I really like can't believe that this is my design like in 3D. Like I can touch it hold it in my hands and it looks so true to the design like wow so cool so yeah once he got here I was just super excited because he turned out so cute yeah he just turned out super adorable and I was really happy with the results and even just like the communication between myself and the manufacturer was really great just really thankful that they came up to me as a recommendation so that's sort of the short gist of things. I did get the toy and I was just so over the moon about the way that he turned out that I really wanted to share him with the world and I wanted to see if I could potentially kickstart and mass produce him. So I've spent the last several months basically developing the marketing for him, which included um, a really cool photo shoot um, that I did. It was kind of like a miniature set 
type of thing. And um, I've also created a film um, with some friends. And yeah, I'm excited to share those things really soon. I'll probably have more details on those things within the next couple of weeks, but for now, I just kind of wanted to share how I went about making this toy and to share the Kickstarter link since I'll be launching soon. There's a pre-launch link in the description box below and I would so appreciate if you shared that with your friends and gave it a look yourself. I'm really looking forward to kickstarting this project and hopefully bringing SadServe to your workspace. He's a great little desk buddy. I really honestly would love to do more toys and so I'm sort of hoping people really like sad serve and want to see more i would love to even do more shorts with him and stuff once the film goes up actually it'll be on a separate channel called pretty magical and if you don't know that's my business i will leave a link to that channel in the description box below as well and yeah uh thank you guys for watching this video and i hope that you support the kickstarter please share with a friend and yeah I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.